What we are doing here with the Varka village is the idea of creating a sustainable village. So what is sustainability? It's a very, you know, wide meaning behind it. So it's about materials. So all the materials are, you know, harvest from the surrounding. So everything comes from the rainforest. We are inside, you know, Congo Basin rainforest. So when we have to shop for construction material, we use wood, we use leaves, we use fibers. Everything is coming from, from here. Le Waka Village, c'est un projet pilote qui a été fait ici au Cameroun pour la première fois. Et nous voulons, nous avons l'objectif de pouvoir intégrer les communautés vulnérables, en l'occurrence les pygmées, mais pas seulement, mais toutes celles qui ont besoin d'un habitat, de l'eau potable, pour en, en bénéficier de ce projet. This is the Waka House. We have eight houses that are, you know, conceived for the, for the village and each house is for one family. And the inspiration of the house from the architectural point of view is the traditional pygmy house. The roof is very high in order to create this, you know, ventilation. And also the floor is rised up, so there is an underground ventilation as well. So in, in such a climate like uh, this tropical context, the roof is everything for, for a building because it protects against the rain, the sun. For the rest, in this climate, you don't need walls, you don't need partition. Actually, you have to be open, you know, to get all this natural ventilation. The roof, it is made out of raffia leaves. So it's a natural uh, material, which is, belongs to the tradition of the pygmies. So they go hunting and harvesting the leaves in the, in the forest, and then they weave them, and they create these panels. Then we prefabricate the panels, and then, once they are done, we assemble it. On doit éduquer chaque personne. Déjà, c'est vrai qu'il y a certaines personnes qui viennent déjà avec un, une connaissance, mais la majorité de ceux qui intègrent notre projet, les travailleurs, ne connaissent rien du tout. Notre projet, ce n'est pas seulement construire des maisons, des faire des points de captation d'eau, mais c'est de pouvoir former la jeunesse. And this big hall that is under construction, it is about 8 meters in diameter. And all this space will be, let's say, eventually filled of water. So water from rain, when it rains, and from condensation, which is almost happening every day. And the idea is to have this big storage because the dry season, so we can use the water stored in order to supply the community with every day certain amount of water. The Waka Tower, let's say, is the core, is the center, and around water, then we construct life, the Waka fruit forest. So we are growing different kind of trees, from moringa to bananas to plantain, cacao, and so on and so on, in order to be really sustainable as a community and self-sufficient. I came with the envy to help, you know, with the skill and knowledge how to construct sustainable infrastructure architecture like the Warka village using local resources and local materials. With, with this experience, actually very precious, that they've been acquiring, you know, working here and realizing that this is sustainable architecture. And with this experience, I can actually bring back to Europe and we can construct better city, better building, you know, applying you know, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this approach. So that can be, you know, a fair, a fair exchange. Mm -hmm.